ready not to vote for Trump until I, what I saw is more than politics. I, I see a weaponization of our justice system yeah. and uh, a, a challenge to our, our constitution, uh, uh, us as Americans, that I don't think we're going to have. And, um, you know, Trump is the most investigated person probably in the history mm. of the world. Mm. Oh, boy, we're going to get that truck hot. I got, they say, Rick, what's, what is underneath that hat of yours? I even had some of the beautiful pictures says, Rick, you need to even out your beard or shave it off or you need to get a haircut, buddy. Because I don't know what's underneath that mega hat when you were scratching in your last video. Well, guess what? <laughs> boy, clean. Boy, chopped, ain't he? I might take your auntie, grandma, sister-in-law, and mama on a date tonight. And guess what? She paying for it. <laughs> and I know that, hey, that's a lot of beautiful patriots, too. A lot of y'all is sexy. Yeah, all of y'all sexy, man. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. Wait, they told me that I can't say sexy. I'm sorry, y'all. They said, Rick, you cannot say that word. I'm so, I apologize. I apologize now. But, uh. Y'all know ain't no ain't no cutting, ain't no editing. We just we straight in with it, baby. Uh, some of y'all favorite actors are gonna be on this show today. We're gonna have some fun. It's getting real, and we're gonna start it off with Pierre Morgan, baby. Oh man! But I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. I had to get a haircut, y'all. I was cutting the grass today, man. And they was talking about the, the judge made some with the jury, sent them on vacation to get a. A Wendy's uh, 4 for 4, 4 for 4 with a strawberry lemonade. So I said, oh, man, I got to get a haircut because there's some breaking news today. And we're going to make sure you guys stay updated and we're going to have fun. I took off my I took off my hat now. So I'm going to take off my hat for the rest of the video because uh, this haircut was about $100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got to take the hat off. This this haircut was about a hundred dollars, and you you know you know I love wearing my mega hat. I love uh, repping and supporting. You know, we got to make this thing great again, baby. We got to save America. But this haircut in the Biden economic is uh, about about a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars after taxes. I'm telling you now. So let's go and jump straight in. Uh, we got some amazing uh, things to show you guys, and this is going to be a really, really good show. So make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and just know I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. We are living in some dark, dark times, man. We got to spread the love to one another. I don't care what you look like, what you smell like. I know some of y'all be in the comments saying, Rick, wait, 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 wait. We do care what you smell like, but I don't. I don't care what your skin color is. We are all brothers and sisters, man, and we must come together. You know what I'm saying? We must unite, man. Love one another. Spread the love, y'all. There are people struggling, man, at an all-time high. Suicide rates, depression, anxiety, PTSD, all-time high, you guys. Please spread the love to one another. Let's jump straight in, y'all. Myself, I, I think um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to vote for him. Really? Yeah, in the next election. Yes, I am. I, are you ready for the blowback? Well, yeah. <laughs> Which inevitably the, comes well, with Trump. Well, you know, I think this election, everybody's got to, I think they're going to take a side or whatever, but it's, uh, it just seems to me, it just makes sense. I was ready not to vote for Trump until I, what I saw is more than politics. I, I see a weaponization of our justice system. Yeah. And uh, a, a challenge to our, our constitution uh, at, us as Americans that I don't think we're going to have. And, um, you know, Trump is the most investigated person probably in the history mm. of the world. Mm. And they haven't been able to really get him on anything. And this whole Stormy Daniels thing to me is so kind of pathetic. I mean, whatever happens as we sit here now, that we're going to find out in a few days whether he's guilty or not guilty. I don't think it matters. It doesn't. If, if anything, if he's found guilty, it'll well, probably help him more. Yeah, even the way you just said it made it seem like that trial or guilty or not guilty is about Stormy Daniels, right. which it's not. No, it's not. And in fact, what is the crime? I still can't figure it out. Well, they, 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 well the crime, neither can they, because they haven't said exactly. what it is. They They've took a misdemeanor exactly. that had run out of its, uh, 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 run out of its time and, uh, you know, turned it somehow trying to turn it into a felony and, uh, but they won't even say what that is. Do you, do you have to like Trump to vote for him? No. 
Do you, like, do you like him personally? Well, look, I, you know, I was in, in the last... It is in the last campaign and uh, in 16 mm -hmm. and, you know, and in 20, uh, I found myself going, oh, please don't do that. Please mm -hmm. don't say that. You know, it's like these things have come out of his mouth. And uh, uh, but as president, I the only thing I liked about Trump was everything he did. Right. You know what he what he did with Korea, mm -hmm. with uh, Rocket Baby, the mm -hmm. way. He defeated ISIS in three weeks. Mm. You know, uh, people don't even remember it. It happened so mm. so fast. Mm. What he, how he stood up for us overseas, mm. and um, and what he, uh, China and uh, uh, the way he responded to China. He stands up to to people, and mm. he's, that's what makes him a leader, rather than uh, what I. I kind of compare it to what was going on in, the Jimmy, in Jimmy Carter's administration, mm. where we we're trying to be everybody's friend and pal. And there's some evil people uh, mm. and uh, bad actors in, in this world. And so, you know, it might, uh, people might call him an asshole, but he's my asshole. Right. <laughs> no, I get because, that. Because because he's he's. I'll tell you one true thing about him is that I really feel that he is working for the American people. Mm. That's what he's all about. And I do believe that to be true and sincere. And is Biden simply too old? Is that the biggest problem for him? Uh, I, I don't feel he's at the helm. Right. I don't feel he's there. And I don't, I feel that he says things to get votes, mm. not that he truly believes it. Oh, Dennis and Pierre Morgan hit it on the money, didn't it, y'all? What y'all think of that, man? Comment down below, man. He hit it on directly on its nose, you know, and we still can't figure out the crime. And like you said, he they they have made him more popular, you guys. You heard what he said. And all this corruption, election interference, these trials has woken a lot of people up. But we got another clip I want to show you guys. So let's jump straight into this one. And this is this one right here. Hey, <laughs> boy, we had a fun time with Robert uh, yesterday. Robert the gangster. Yeah. Biden spokesperson. And man, they didn't got so desperate, y'all. Boy, boy, boy. I told y'all these next six months, it's only gonna get better. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna be, it's just gonna, we gonna, we, we gonna get on the roller coaster. <laughs> we getting on the roller coaster, and uh, ain't no, ain't no, uh, ain't no weight limit. Ain't no, and you don't gotta be a certain height. Just get on the roller coaster, baby. Let's ride, Patriots. I told y'all, man, we riding and the check engine light is on. That old truck still got a check engine light. And I bet you, I bet you right now, you go crank that truck up, it's going to crank. It's going to crank, baby. And we're going to ride. Let's jump straight into this, y'all. Robert De Niro, of all people, shows up. And we know he's a Trump hater. We, we got that. But some of the things Yeah, I say. wasn't 100% sure how he felt about Trump, Eric. <laughs> I thought he was kind of on the fence. But frothingly angry. Well, you know, I would say any time that um, uh, that people use fear mongering or think like um, they always say every four years, this is the most important election. This may be the last election, you know, but for him to say today uh, that he's never going to leave. I mean, he left once. So the evidence is he did leave. Um, I will say that um, we have a very good system. We have uh, the the legislature, the legislature. We have the executive judicial. It's a pretty good system. James Madison came up with it. I don't think any one man or either party, whether even if the Democrats win again, and I hope they don't, but if they do, uh, we're strong enough to survive it. It's just, can we allow another 11 million people to come in and change the the voting habits of this great country? And, and um, we do need immigration. I'm all for it. It just has to be legal. We do need people who want to come in and work. And thankfully, people do want to work. And we need that. However, I believe that uh, the real threat to our system of government, and I don't think it's 
uh, it, it's just it's too too good of a system to turn into a dictatorship overnight. But if they want to expand the Supreme Court, that's a big problem. I think if they want to also expand another thing for people out there, don't be so focused on this national election. Vote local, because thankfully, we are not a democracy. We are a democratic republic. So we have our states that are uh, that that you can live your life. And that's why I moved the heck out of California to move to the slightly freer state of Arizona. And uh, I'm glad I did. And, and I just want people to not be so paranoid about this. And if you want to get involved, get involved with your local school board. That's the problem with this new administration as far as if Biden, the regime of Biden, because it's not him, obviously, he's not doing anything. I like when Newsom went to go meet uh, at the White House. He wasn't even there. <laughs> so- <laughs> yeah, y'all enjoyed that, huh? Oh, Rob, man, hit it right on the nail, you guys. You know, made some amazing points. I don't know if we'll be all right if they, you know, if they do, and you know what I'm saying, but. But uh, that Trump derangement syndrome, boy, y'all don't, this ain't, this not going to be the last. I told y'all, these next six months, it's going to get even more spicier. A little more sriracha on there. Give me some of that Frank's, some of that Louisiana, you know? Yeah, give me some of that Texas Pete. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to get more rowdy, y'all. But I told y'all, man, this thing is it's black soot everywhere. People are struggling at an all-time high. That thing is wide open. Oh. And we know what it brings. Homeless veterans, you know. But we didn't spend 66 billion over here. Breaks my heart, man. It's a lot of things, man. And he hit it right on the nail, y'all. And like I say, you don't gotta like Trump, but whole fella trying to save this thing. Oh, fella is trying to say this thing. Fella and gave up his retirement. Trying to trying to get this 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 place back back on track, man. Mm, mm, mm. But y'all let me know what y'all think of those clips, man. Uh I love you guys, man. We're wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. We gotta spread the love, man. We are living in some dark, dark times, you guys. Dark, dark times. Told y'all, black soot is everywhere. You know? We got to get the, the first responders, the remodeling team, you know what I'm saying? And Trump is trying to bring them, y'all, trying to bring them. But suicide rates, depression, anxiety, PTSD at an all-time high, man. People are struggling, you guys. So I encourage you to spread the love when you go out in the public, you know. Be kind, care for one another, smile, crack jokes, laugh, man. Got to find time to laugh. Y'all see, I come on here laughing, cracking jokes with y'all, man, because that's all I want to promote, man. You know, besides all this corruption and bringing all these amazing updates and covering all this, you know, disgusting stuff that is going on, I got to get I got to come on here and give you all a good laugh or something, man. You know, for real. But I love y'all, man. 2024. It's our year. And I'm going to crack open a cold one with my patriots in November, baby. I'm ready. We ride. Check engine light on. You want to get out the truck? Because, again, when we get up to about 70 miles per hour, if that truck get to shaking. <laughs> and if you're scared, go and get out. Because <laughs> that truck going to get to shaking when we get to about 70 miles per hour. <laughs> we riding, baby. I love y'all, man. Y'all comment down below. Make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And always know that I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. We are sending out more mega hats today. Um, I know I've been slacking. Uh, we didn't get to send out any today. Um, I haven't got a chance to get to any of my emails. This has been a busy, busy, crazy day. I'm human just like y'all. I, I had to go cut the grass. I was out there sweating. You know what I'm saying? Coughing and sneezing. The bees were flying on me. Mosquitoes. It was, it was just disgusting. I had to go get me a haircut finally. I ain't got a haircut in about almost a month. So I'm, I'm getting back on track, y'all. I promise. But I love you guys, man. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace and love, family. And again, we are sending out more hats today. So if you haven't received the email back from me, email me again. I'll catch y'all in the next one.